Fire up that Bitcoin, because you're going to need it for the new Overwatch currency to get them sweet, sweet skins. Hey, and welcome to Overwatch Update. This week, 12-6, Wednesday, December 6th, we're coming at you with some intriguing things that are happening in Overwatch, including the start of Overwatch League. But first, let's get into the PTR and who we are. My name is Ivan, I'm from Hungover Gaming, and we're going into the PTR update. So, Doomfist has been a character that is kind of not really in the meta, kind of shitty, doesn't really work that well. So what they've done with the PTR updates is they've totally revamped some of the things that he needs and are looking into further improving the character as it goes along. So the main things that we've seen are the wall slam is going to be more accurate with a higher degree of actually connecting with that wall slam. Also some seismic slam issues have been changed and the rocket punch breaks things again. Happy smashing. The majority of issues though which players have complained about are in the things we're looking at or things we don't know how to solve yet uh, category including ghost punches where Doomfist will literally just phase through somebody even though you're supposed to be punching them. Well, good luck Overwatch. Happy hunting with those fists. Other updates to the PTR is of course Moira is getting a bunch of updates to adjust some of the bugs that are happening with her to make her gameplay smooth and of course the character that is always getting updates nowadays. Mercy is also having the majority of other updates to bug fixes. In any case, this PTR update seems to be a good thing for Doomfist as he has been completely excised from playability. Our Overwatch League update is the most prescient Overwatch League update that we've had yet because it starts today. Preseason starts today with three matches held at the Blizzard Arena in Los Angeles. You can see the first game, which is 7 p.m. Eastern, between Florida Mayhem and San Francisco Shock. And if you haven't gotten your fill of the Shock from that game, they'll be playing in the next game as well. Um, good to see that it's starting up. So the schedule begins tonight with a few days of preseason matches, and the league proper won't start until January 10th. In which case, there will be four stages of league matches during the season, which will help to provide the win-loss record of the top teams. We'll then have playoffs, and then by the end of July, we'll have our final grand champion. Then, a month later, in the middle of August, so not a full month, but close to that, we'll have the All-Star Weekend in which players of the top quality from all teams get together and play some Overwatch between each other. It's an interesting move to see how this league is being developed because it is that the season is in four stages. Kind of an intriguing thing, not really done in most other professional sports leagues, but we'll see. As a, a Wired article claimed, is that the Overwatch League wants to be the new NFL. Overwatch has a really cool demographic in terms of places to expand. With the median age of football, basketball, or even hockey uh, watchers going up, Overwatch League would target a demographic that's around 21 years of age, which is perfect for advertisers and people who want that spending cash to be spent. And what better way to spend it than on the skins of your favorite Overwatch League teams? That's right. Overwatch League team skins are now going to be introduced into Overwatch and you can buy them with a special in-game currency that is outside of the regular currency. Now you might be asking, oh my god, another loot box controversy. The reason that there's a secondary in-game currency that deals specifically with the Overwatch League team skins is that those profits are going to be divided between the teams, Overwatch, and the players themselves. So currently on the player contracts, the players get 50% of the proceeds that go to benefit the team, which is an awesome contract stipulation. So even though you're spending all that good old money on building those team skins and Houston Outlaws, I'm looking at you for some of my first skins. That McCree skin is top notch. We'll see that a lot of our money is going, in fact, to the players' pockets, which is a pretty good thing for the player contracts. Now... 
Some other things. We've had our first power ranking from PC Gamer. So we'll see where the power rankings are going to be coming from. But it's no surprise that the top team in the power rankings for Overwatch League is... That's right, Seoul Dynasty, the South Korean team themselves. Number two on the list is Cloud9's team, the London Spitfire, which did indeed buy two different uh, South Korean teams and kind of meshed together these teams to create their European and US-based Overwatch League rosters. And third is New York Excelsior, which is another South Korean team being brought over. Now, my money goes out to Houston Outlaws at number five. They're the Houston team with the most impressive logo, and I gotta love my Texas boys. So until San Antonio comes up with a team, I'll be cheering for you, Houston, but don't expect that in any other sport. Overwatch League has already had some controversy with sexual harassment um, scandals coming from San Francisco Shock, but we have a new update to controversy in Overwatch League. The player Sato of the Philly Fusion has been banned for 30 matches due to boosting. Now, boosting is when a player that has a lot of skill plays for accounts that have little skill and makes them seem like they have a lot of skill for money. Um, it kind of reminds me of when college players aren't paid money and so are forced to do some other things outside of that. Most famously, the Johnny Menzel selling his autograph scandal recently, but other players have done a lot of different things. And it seems interesting that in the farming leagues or up until you get to the place where your contract is minimum $50,000, it might be harder for players that are up and coming to scrounge out that cash. So boosting might be one way that they do it. And it seems really harsh to have a 30-game ban, but we'll see how that works out for player Sato of Philly Fusion, who has already apologized. In terms of favorite story of the week, I think it's just the fact that we have preseason starting and the Overwatch League is coming to us as soon as it can. Hopefully in January we'll get to see some great matches, but until then we've got the preseason starting today, so go ahead and check those out. All right, Julian, over to you for the game. Thanks, Yvonne, for that news update, and welcome to Overwatch Replay, the show that gives you all the tips and tricks you need to know to become a better Overwatch player. I'm Julian, and I'm going to take you through one segment of this Overwatch match, competitive match, on Eichenwald that I had a couple days ago. So let's go ahead and check it out. Alright, so I play fair on this match, in this match, and um, I believe our team comp was Winston, Mercy, Symmetra, Junkrat, Genji. No, Reaper. He switched. Okay, yeah, so here's our team lineup. Anyway, so obviously, well, yes, obviously you need a Mercy on your team now. It's just standard fair. Um, yeah, Mercy can solo heal in this current meta. And uh, what up, monkeys? You know what I mean? And uh, he, I don't even know who the hell is this. I don't know why he's saying that. Um, and Mercy is just so vital now because she can res. She could always res, but uh, now she's a much more active reser, resurrector, as it were. And Symmetra on attack, questionable. Um, but some people can make it work. I don't personally think she belongs anywhere on an attacking team. And uh, we'll see that she really... I, I don't really come across on the screen anyways at any point that she does anything. Junkrat on attack. On Icon Vault. I don't know, man. People like to do this in this... Uh, they like to play Junkrat. <laughs> He's a lot better now. But um, Winston on attack is nice. Along with uh, with uh, Farah, we can team well together because we can dive the same person pretty well. And hopefully Mercy can keep up with the healing and Reaper will run around and do what he does. Um, as will Junkrat and who knows what Symmetra does. She's a questionable uh, pick. But I digress. Let's get on with the game. Yes, so do you. Um, all right. What? Nobody? And then this guy <laughs> says this, which is pretty funny. Nobody shitting about, or I don't even know what fucking 
what curse you're putting here. Have you, it's five letters. Maybe I can't do that. Anyways, uh... About attack sim? That's new. <laughs> I don't know. I guess whatever. It's up to you, man. I don't... I, I stopped, uh, getting mad. At least it's I am. Uh, getting mad at people for what they pick. Like, any character could potentially work. But, uh, anyways. Um, that's not necessarily true. Don't listen to me. Anyways, we're gonna learn how to play fair on this map. Whether it kills us or not. So, I'm sort of doing the non-committal thing here. I'm sort of floating up, using this area as cover because they are not going to commit to coming around here unless they want to die. And I'm sort of poking at them to get build up my ult charge here. So that's generally my plan, and I think it's ending up working here. I mean, 9%, not that good, but... And I saw someone in that doorway, so I thought I launched a couple rockets in there before grabbing this health pack. I'm sort of... This is sort of how, I, how I'm structuring... I can fly around a lot and get a couple kills, and then I can always return to this health pack, which is right here, keep the track in mind, uh, on this level, if you're on attack, um, that there is a health pack there. So, right now, this is a very, very dangerous place for me to be. So we've got all we've got four enemies here. I can essentially only shoot one of them because they're all spread out. And uh, luckily, Roadhog misses his hook. And luckily, one of them's a junk rat. Actually, it's five. I can mean, see this mercy. Um, and two are healers, I suppose. But <laughs> anyways, Arissa could turn around and shoot me, and so could Roadhog. And Junkrat could toss a C4 up at me and shoot me. So I'm in a very dangerous position, so I sort of fade back over here because there would only really be one more enemy, uh, considering all five of them are right there. So I start launching rockets because I see no one is contesting me at all. And that should have been a dead Orisa instead of shooting the health, the, sorry, the concussion blaster. I should have um, shot a rocket. Didn't really quite work. Right now, I could be dead, just on the ground doing nothing. Um, and this Arissa should really be dead. I launched three more rockets at her, and D.Va had to kill her. Um, but as you can see, I know I'm half health here. So, but I heard Mercy up there, so I should have, I should have dropped down in front of her so she would know to heal me. Uh, but instead, I go back to this health pack, wasting a lot of time. I realize that now. So I, I, that's why I didn't wait for that health back to uh, respond. Because I realized that I had made a mistake and that I was wasting a lot of time. So I decided to go back into the fight to help out, because that's my job, I'm a DPS. I see Moira running up on the front line. Um, I want her to I want to make her a number one priority, but that would require going under the bridge or back over here. Um, and then I see this junk rat, which should be an easy kill for me to pick up, because uh, considering I'm Farah. But then I sort of freak out here because I see all their team back up under the bridge, and I'm in a, a tough position. So I see I'm taking a lot of damage, and luckily their team can't really aim because they didn't get the kill. So now the health pack is back up, and I'm much better as Farah says. So right here, I know that Roadhog is a fairly large target, so I could shoot any rocket on the ground as long as it's sort of under the bridge. Because uh, I saw him go under the bridge. And there you see it, he's down, and now we're on the point. So, uh, general strategy here on the point is to shoot anything that moves um, and sort of hover above it. That's generally my plan. Although, it's not necessarily the best plan, considering there's no cover for me. So, and also, I have to maintain a lot of damage here. Right there, I, I think I shot a concussion, yeah, I shot a concussion blast because I tried to hit them off the point over there. Off the ledge, but it would be pretty far-fetched to do that, I think, now in hindsight. Um, right here, Arissa actually has some nice um, coverage above her, which I failed to get over and she was managing to stand under it so I couldn't land any rockets on her. But now I'm I'm seeing that we've got three people on the point, or not really Diva, but we've got we're starting to capture the point and they only have a couple um, T 
teammates here. They have one, two, and three teammates up. All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to clear the point or at least at, at least at least get uh, rid of Orissa. At least get rid of Orissa with my ultimate. And I managed to also see Roadhog there, so that would have been awesome for me. Um, I could have dropped down perhaps over here. I could have been over here, floated over here, and then used it, because then I would have actually killed Orissa. So I realized as soon as I used it that I'm also in a very bad position because half of it or some of it will be blocked by this corner. Um, so I wouldn't really get this kill. So I immediately divert my attention and go for the Roadhog. And I think I managed to get him to about half health, quarter health, but he heals right back up. So that was a wasted ult. Um, it, if anything, it pushed them off the point for the duration of the ult, but it was kind of a waste in my opinion. So bad point to use that. Yeah, get rid of Varissa, start firing a couple shots in there. I uh, thought someone else was in there, and then Genji and Junkrat managed to bunch up right here, which was super awesome. I put my crosshairs right in the middle and launch a rocket and end up getting a double kill, which was really big for our team. Um, in fact, it's probably one of the reasons why we end up getting the point. Um, and Roadhog manages to look... How sensitive your mic look directly up? I don't know. Uh, manages to pin me against the wall with his ult and I end up getting rezzed, however, which is nice. And right here you'll see that I'm finally getting over that Orisa shield. Um, and I find, and I start getting, there was a counter pick of the soldier, and I start getting shot at him by him. But well, luckily, this is a lower ranking, as you might have seen in the beginning of, in the beginning screen. Um, and no one can fucking aim, including me. So, um, I sort of push him back with concussion blast, and fire a couple rockets there for him to come back out in. I get two hits, and um, he sort of runs away, which is nice for us. And I believe that is it. We managed to capture the first point. So we're going to end uh, this segment here because it is running a little long, 10 minutes-ish. Um, and also, we had a new segment. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So I hope you guys enjoy this new format. Yvonne and I are back. We have not really uploaded any videos in a long time because of, uh, well, some complications and of course the holidays and such, all those things, but we're definitely back. We've uploaded a couple podcasts. Go check those out. We have a Hungover podcast. This channel is called Hungover Gaming after all. So go check that out on iTunes and SoundCloud and check out our Let's Play series every single Friday from now on, I swear. There, there will be some interesting videos. We have uh, some things in store for you guys. So I hope you guys keep on the lookout. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you get notifications. And smash that like button. Like button. Like, like button. Smash that like button. End the video. We got, God damn it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you guys next week. Peace out.